Okay guys, so for part three, it's only three shots we're going to do now for part three because this combination is getting longer and longer and then we will obviously add this on to part one and part two. So I'm going to show you from a boxing stance. So we're going to work a turn inside kick to start with, okay? So from this boxing stance, um, this will change very slightly and I'll show you why when it comes from part two. But we take a big step over, straight into the pivot. We rotate the top half of our body and we push with a side kick and that lands to the front, okay? So let me show you that again. Very important it lands to the front, so then you'll be right side forward in your opposite boxing stance. So it goes step, turn and look, side kick, land to the front. From this opposite side now, so I'm right side forward, my front hand, which is now my right hand, goes back fist and I step out and I reverse punch, okay? That's going to feel unnatural for a lot of you because we're in the opposite stance. Very important that you land that kick to the front. So from here, step, turn and look, side kick, back fist, step out, reverse punch, okay? So this is where it changes. Um, I'll show you part one, part two, and part three together. So we go lead front kick, cross, jab, rear front kick, jab, lead side kick, back fist, this is where it's different. Because we're going lead roundhouse kick, we don't want to go roundhouse kick, drop down, and then step. We want to cut that part out, so you go roundhouse kick straight into the step. So it goes roundhouse kick, drop into the step, turn and look, push side kick, back fist, reverse punch, okay? So there's a lot there now. I'm gonna show you it one more time and I'm gonna hit the pads, okay? So one, two and three together. And I'm gonna turn this way, guys, so you can see. Lead front kick, cross, jab, rear front kick, jab, side kick, back fist, roundhouse kick, drop down, turn in side kick, back fist, reverse punch, okay? So now we've done that in the air, let's work it on the focus mitts. So let's work part three on the focus mitts and then we'll do part one, two, and three together, okay? So while I'm working with Mrs. Britland here, the first technique is a turn in side kick. Again, we already talked about when we do it in the air, we will actually go, um, can I have the roundhouse kick please? We will actually go roundhouse kick and then drop into the step, okay? But we'll, we'll come to that in a second. So from a boxing stance, step, turn and look, side kick pushes, lands to the front, and then we back fist, Reverse punch, okay, I'll swap places with you if that's all right. So again, from here, turn in side kick. So turn, look, push, land to the front, point your elbow, snap on the back fist. And now it's very important that you don't reverse punch from here, because it's very short and awkward. The front leg will step out, and then you rotate your hips so you can lunge and extend with the reverse punch there, okay? Let's put all of that together now. Okay, I'll swap with you again, please. So all of that together. So part one, lead front kick, cross, jab, rear front kick. Part two, jab, side kick, back fist, roundhouse kick. And then part three, turn in side kick, back fist, reverse punch from the opposite stance, okay? One more time all the way through. Lead front kick, cross, jab, rear front kick, jab, side kick, back fist, round kick, turn inside kick, back fist, reverse punch. Thank you very much. So that is part one, two, and three in the air, and part one, two, and three on the focus mitts.